Hello, everybody. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about setting up the front end on an RC car, the A959B specifically, and we're going to talk a little bit about tires. We're going to talk a little bit about top speed. So let's get started. I noticed in my last video that I was talking about filming this and instead of saying recording, and there's a reason for that. It's because I'm an old guy, and that's the way we've always done it in the past. The things we're going to go over today is uh, top speed on the car. I, I'm going to cover in the video. I'm going to cover a little bit about uh, putting the wheels on, setting them up, just a few odds and ends things. Uh, I think it'll be entertaining. Uh, let me know if there's something else you want to see. I've got some more plans coming up for the car, and I think I'll address those a little bit later in the video. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and get started. Hey, I hate to bring this up, but I'm going to need some of y'all to subscribe, or I'm going to have to demote y'all back to a flip phone. Okay, I got this all wrapped up, and a couple of things I noticed. When you change the length of these rods, it changes the toe. Even though it's it's changing the uh, camber angle, it still changes the toe because when you bring the top of the wheel out, it's the same as bringing the bottom of the wheel in. So there's a whole lot of back and forth before you get everything where you want it. I hate using pliers on stuff like this, so I made a little wrench. It's kind of crude, but it's I didn't have a four millimeter, and uh, so this this works a lot better to me than pliers because you end up not scarring up the metal. Uh, an observation I have on the, the hot glue, there's some pluses to it and there's some minuses to it. The plus to it is that it's quick. You don't have to wait for it to set up or dry or cure or anything else. Uh, the downside is if you make any changes to it, you have to reheat it to flow it back where it needs to be. And it's actually fairly clear. As a matter of fact, I'll go out in a minute and I'll uh, I'll heat these up and I'll show you what they look like after they've been heated up. I'm going to change the tires and later uh, try to do another speed run with it and uh, see if we can have a little better control now that we've got the front end lined up. Okay, I'll show you what this looks like real quick. You can just lay the hot glue on there with a hot glue gun. I just happen to have a little bit left over on there. I'm going to use this. Um, I seldom use this to solder with. I've got one I use for electronics, and I've got another one that I use for PL259s, things like that. But you just heat this up. Once it gets a little heat to it, you just touch it on here. Well, <coughs> just uh, so you know, Soldering irons are not supposed to do that. I had to rebuild my soldering iron and go reset my breaker. I hate when your soldering iron blows up in your face. Okay, we get soldering iron fixed, so we'll try this again. So when, when this uh, starts to flow, it should turn pretty much turn clear. And this is why I don't, I didn't use this one for electronics very much. So I'm not too worried about getting the tip dirty. Trying to see if it's picking it up on camera. Yeah, see as that starts to flow, it uh, turns pretty much clear. And then it doesn't take very long at all, and it's ready to run. So that's what I like about hot glue. I'm going to throw a wheel on there now, one of the new wheels. These, um, I guess this is a, a more recent version of this car. The wheels are double nutted. I know on some of the earlier versions I saw the wheels come off. And these are double nutted. 
I'm not gonna, while I'm thinking about it when I'm doing this, um, you know, there's one there's one thing about the aluminum upgrades. They're, they're, they look nice. It's hard for me to say I do or do not recommend you do it. I, I like the way they look. But the, the plastic bends. And anytime you put metal on there, um, <laughs> if everything is plastic, it kind of shares the load. When you start putting metal components on there, as you put the metal components on, to me, you're, they're not going to give the way the other pieces did. I went uh, and touched this up a little bit off camera so that uh, you can see it's it's pretty clear once you get that on there. The, these are, um, I think, 7 millimeter hexes that are currently on the car. So we need to take these off. There's a little pin in here. This little pin is what actually drives the hex. There's a little groove in there. And we're going to put some new ones on because these wheels use a uh, 12 millimeter. And these come with their own pins. I find it's easier if you stand the car on its side because the little pins will fall out. If you don't have the thing angled exactly the right way. And these are just a tiny bit longer than the factory pins see if that's uh, in focus yeah it's good enough anyway and keep in mind for the guys that already know how to do this I am trying to kind of contour this channel a little bit toward the people that are new into the hobby so I'm not trying to talk backwards to anybody but just show new people that ha maybe haven't been exposed to any of this what we're doing here Oh, you know what? These hexes, these are pretty nice because these will accommodate the uh, the short pins, it looks like. Yeah, these actually accommodate the short pins also, so I don't even need to change the pins. And I'm not going to change the pins because uh, it looks to me like these would have the potential to actually rub on the hub. Maybe not. Maybe the bearing or and or bushing I don't know if this thing has bearing that looks like a bushing pretty sure that's just a bushing I ordered a set of bearings for it because I was under the assumption those were bushings so we'll we'll find out soon enough I'm not going to take it apart until the new parts come in so anyway you you pull out on this just a little bit get the hole out to where you can see it and I'm going to put the little pin back in because it's the same size as the bushing you just have to be sure and put this on the correct way to capture it. Put the wheel, the hex on the wheel, and get that lined up. And then we'll put the nut back on there. And all four wheels are going to be the same way, so I see absolutely no point in uh, showing each one of these on camera. Now you have to be careful with these. You can over tighten them and then the wheels will bind. I saw somebody do an upgrade where they put new wheels on their car and it slowed their car down quite a bit. And I'm thinking that it's at least a possibility that they over tighten this or possibly they used the larger pins and they were touching on the hub. I don't know that to be a fact because I didn't get to look at the car. I'm going to do the other ones off camera, and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. The front and the rear all are going to be the same. This is the last one, so I'll do this just to show you. If you put this on too tight, as I was talking about earlier, see as I drag my fingernail over this, this tire does not rotate at all. I can rotate it if I grab it, but you can feel the friction. So if you just back this off just to... A tiny bit I see now as I drag my fingernail over it it actually lets the wheel move the amount of slack that's in the drivetrain so you don't want to go crazy if you get if you back it off too far then it gets sloppy on the on the assembly but there's if I pull it laterally you know there's what you're looking for is no slack but see that's 
I'm having to actually put pretty good uh, pressure on that to make it turn. So we'll back it off just a sixteenth of a turn. And I'm just barely touching it now and it's moving. So the other thing I will say, um, for those of you that don't know, this is a nylock nut. And I'll see if my camera's going to just, it gets blown out. See if I can make that uh, any happier. So there's a tiny little nylon insert. When you put this on, it cuts threads in that nylon and it locks it into place. If you don't want to double nut this, I recommend you don't reuse these. They're fairly cheap, and these um, you can buy quite a few of them for not a whole lot of money. But if you just go ahead and, and replace these, see if I can get any, any closer on that. Yeah, maybe a little bit. But if you can just barely see that, there's a little nylon insert in there. Once you cut the threads in it the first time, they go on a lot easier. And so um, what I have found is if you just replace these, they're not going to come loose as a general rule. But for for right now, I'm going to go ahead and double nut these. These um, aluminum adapters that I just put on here, though, I'll show you. They, uh, they're they sticking out a lot further. The, it, the second nut just barely engages, so they're probably going to fall off anyway. Okay, got the new tires on here. Whoa. I wanted to jump out of my hand. We'll do some speed tests on it and see where we go. Just a couple more things I forgot to mention. Uh, these tires are directional. Sometimes you get tires that are all four of the same, but you see this like a, an arrow shape to these. And I've got the arrow to the front, same on the front and rear. So you've actually got two right tires and two left tires. All tires are not this way, but these are. These were not glued to the rim, so um, I had to go glue those. If, if you've never had to glue tires to a rim, uh, if anybody's interested, I'll make another video uh, showing how to glue those. I did not video when I glued these on. And I don't pretend to have the only way. I just have a way. Uh, I did go uh, speed test in front of the house, and I, I was able to get 61 kilometers per hour. Um, didn't get it on camera, but I'll probably take it back out in a little bit and uh, top off the battery and go try it again. The heat sink did seem to help dissipate heat off of the motor. Uh, it stayed a lot cooler than it has in the past. Since I uh, can't go back and re-glue these tires, I'll show you at least what I used. Um, I used the stick fast. This is a, a super thin and this is an activator. So it sets it up really quick. You just put this on give it a little spritz with that and in seconds it's set up and what I what I normally use that stuff for is when I build one of these pins I use it for a finish that started off as a big uh, square or rectangular chunk of uh, acrylic but anyway that's what I typically use that the uh, CA for is just a, a finish on these pins anyway Get the batteries charged up here in a bit, and we'll go out and try another speed test. Hopefully, this is just going to be a quick uh, speed run. Got the uh, GPS zeroed out. I'm not going to put the body on it. So, here we go.
Okay, we hit uh, 63. Okay, as you see, I got uh, 63 kilometers per hour for a top speed. So I'm going to put the body back on and run it around a little bit. I don't know if it's faster with or without the body. That'll be another experiment for another day. And the uh, replacement mount for the rear wing hasn't come in yet. So once the uh, rear wing comes in, I'll actually do a speed test with the body and everything. I did order a set of ball bearings for it. This has just got uh, bushings in it. I think that'll speed it up. And I think with the ball bearings in there, um, I might be able to tighten the uh, the tires up a little better. The other thing I'm going to do, I've, I've decided today, this is it's so short it's hard to control. So I'm actually going to change the receiver, the ESC, and I'm going to add a gyro to it. So if anybody wants to keep up with that, you can subscribe and hit the bell. But for right now, I'm just going to play a little bit. Wheelies a little more with these tires. Oops, it is stick. Almost seems a little faster with the body on it. Don't know for sure. Don't want to hit the stick again. That's enough for today. Okay, if anybody's still here, I appreciate you hanging around and uh, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, ask me a question. Uh, please subscribe and hit the bell. I'll keep you posted on the rest of the modifications on this car, and i got a couple of other reviews coming up. Everybody have a great day. Catch you down the road.